Hello everyone, Scrubby Gamer. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make an alarm system that will sound whenever the sun comes up or the sun goes down. It's pretty straightforward, so let's go ahead and get started. First of all, we got two types of alarms in the game. We got Howler, right there, Howler alarm, and then we've got an industrial alarm. Now, here's the difference. This one has two modes. You got a default and a sci-fi. It just changes the way it sounds. So here's the sci-fi. And by the way, the default of the howler is the same sound this one makes. The advantage of this one is two modes, two different sounds. Um, let me turn this rain off. The advantage of this one is that it blinks whenever you give it, give it a signal. So watch this. So if you like the blinking, use this one. If you'd rather use the sci-fi, use this one. So that's basically it. That's all there is to alarms. You just give it a redstone signal and it and activates. And so to make this work, what we need, the first thing we need is we need a light sensor. Now this light sensor right here, it's closed. It's It's got a shutter and right now it's partially closed. So let me show you how this works. First of all, if I right click it with a screwdriver, I rotate it. And this part right here, that's the output, the part with the red line. So there we go we can rotate it obviously you want it facing your circuit secondly if, uh, if you want to adjust the shutter hold down the shift key then right click it and there we go there's the shutter fully well that's as far as it'll close and once I open it up watch what happens so this thing is extremely sensitive right now it's picking up this redstone torch over here so here's where you want to work, run this circuit to work the best. You want to close it. You have it full open like that. Hold down your shift key, right click it, and you want to close it twice. One, two. Now what happens is you've closed it again. It it, it won't it won't um, work properly because what will happen is whenever it rains. Um, that won't be enough light to make it go off. So leave it right there in that position. If you close it one more time, the rain's going to mess with it. But what, what you usually want to do too, so that time it just went off because the sun came up. But what you usually want to do just to, to be on the safe side is just build a box around it like this and um, just have the top exposed. and that way only stuff directly above it can set it off now the next thing I want to show you is this This right here is called an AND gate this is optional if you take this out of line the alarm will just always be on all this does right here is allow you to have an on off switch so um, an AND gate let me show you what that is uh, right here nope right here here's an AND gate it has three inputs and one output now this thing will put out a logic high. It's putting out a signal right now if all three inputs are high. So right now we got input A, input B, and input C. And since they're all on, the this thing right here is putting out a high pulse. If I turn that off, it will make the alarm sound once during the day. But now this thing's off. If I change it from day to time, not today, uh, nothing will happen just like that so we basically will want to turn it on and so what happens is since this thing has three inputs we only need two of them so we put a redstone torch here that makes this one always on and it, and it makes this input a uh, non-factor then and at that point we turn this one off and on if we got this off all three inputs will never be high so the alarm will never go off if we turn this one on, at that point, this is the only one that can change states, and so at that point, your light sensor is actually controlling the circuit. So that's the AND gate. Now, next, if you can see right here, the output of the AND gate splits in two. The reason we do that is because we want um, to invert the signal here and have it not inverted here. So right here, if you look at these, these are called pulse formers. Let me show you what those look like in inventory pulse former and if you can see right here the input of this one is high the input of this one is low it's because they're both receiving the same signal but this one is inverted and so basically what happens is um, the way a pulse former works is it turns a constant signal into a pulse so this signal right here this wire it's on right now so it's 
if it's daytime it's gonna be on for 10 minutes well I don't want the alarm sounding for 10 minutes I just want it sounding for like five seconds and so that's what this pulse former is letting me do uh, whenever this whenever one of these lines go high the pulse former will put out a brief pulse I don't know how long it is it's like a few hundred milliseconds something like that but basically what happens whenever the it changes state from not today one of these two pulse firmers will put out a pulse um, and they feed that pulse into here now if you notice these two inputs are two outputs are tied together so either pulse firmer will or will send a signal here and this is called a state cell and you can adjust the time on this is how we're adjusting the length of the alarm it's set for five seconds right now and here's the buttons to control it but let me show you what this looks like here's a state cell right there in your inventory and here's the input and here's the output so what happens is whenever this thing gets a pulse this thing starts working and it put out a signal for five seconds so let me temporarily set this to like 15 seconds so that we can see this in operation so we got to actually just come over here and set the time tonight but what's gonna happen is when we set the time tonight this line will go low this input will go off this input will go on and this thing will put out a pulse because it received a high signal and that pulse is going to trigger this thing when this thing triggers it's going to activate for 15 seconds then go off so let me show that to you now as you can see it's, it's counting around okay so when it gets all the way around here it shuts off so set for 15 seconds in retrospect I should have probably set it for 10 but <laughs> there we go that's a state cell I love using those things I use them in a lot of projects uh, I had another tutorial I did on how to make a, uh, a, a machine this machine right here makes golems I'll put a link to this video if you want to see it but this machine right here will build golems but anyway I was going to show you that I use state cells here there's 13 state cells here won't get into it in this video but I'm just showing you that they have a lot of practical purposes but anyway this is how you make an alarm if you have any questions feel free to ask and also if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like it uh, if a video gets a lot of likes I know people enjoy that video and uh, I'll know to make more types of that video but anyway it's Grumpy Gamer we'll see you next time we'll appreciate you watching